What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jim Graphics. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to design this simple church flyer in Corel Draw. If you're new, consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss my future upload. Coming over here, guys, these are the stock images we'll be working with. I'll put the link of all this in the down description below. So over here, guys, I attached a mock-up which we will be making use of in this video. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the video. Welcome to Corel Draw, guys. So the size we'll be working with today is 17 by 12 inches. So to change your size, that is A3 size. Don't forget, guys, is A3 size. If you want to call it A3 size, you can call it A3 size and A3 poster. But the, the size is um 17 by 12. So to change this size, come over to your property bar. This is your property bar, guys. Make sure your unit is at inches. All right. Then change your size to 17. Oh, sorry, 18 by 18 by 12. All right, guys. So this is what you're gonna have. So the next thing we're gonna do is bring in our rectangle. All right, draw this way and change the size also. Change the size to um 18 by 12 inches. So press letter P on your keyboard to make sure it's fitted to frame. So this way, press letter P. This way is a it has fitted itself to frame so the next thing we're going to do is remove the black outline which we have this way so the next thing we're going to do is drop the two using our pick tool and um, what we're going to do now is import our stock images so to import your stock images right click over here locate import the shortcut is ctrl i or come over to your menu bar and select import all right your menu bar under file select import and this box is going to come up so select all the file you'll be working with. So I'm going to select all this. All right. I'm going to select all this. Remember, guys, this video is basically for inspiration. And, you know, we are all learning here. So I'm going to place all this here. All right. I'm going to place this, all this here. So we're done. So I'm, what I'm going to do is place my image to the right and leaving my backgrounds to the left. You understand guys so this is it this is what i'm gonna do so guys if you don't know how to take a background in photoshop go and check out my previous videos on i have a video where you can learn how to remove background in photoshop like i recommend I, I recommended you guys to use photoshop for your background to remove your ba uh, your backgrounds all right so i think that will be more faster and um it will give you a perfect um perfect work so what we're going to do is bring in this background scale it up this way so i'll use my shape tool on my tools bar and remove this select and drag up select drag this way this is how to select if you drag as you can see it has selected so once you drag it up you remove that um stuff under under the background so what we're going to do now is I'm going to power clip this background into this frame we have. So to power clip into this frame, right click on this. Select power clip inside. And um, this arrow is going to come up. So click this way. That's left click on your mouse. Left click on your mouse. So as you can see, it's not fitted to frame. So we can design this way. All we need to do is right click again and select edit power clip over here. All right. So place it over here and scale it up this way. So the next thing I want to do is I want to apply a blur effect to it. So to apply a blur effect, come over to your menu bar and select effect. All right. Select effect. Come over to your blur. If you don't have this version of Corel Draw, guys, don't forget DM me on Instagram. I will send you a link where you can um, download this version of Corel Draw. So guys, um, if you don't have this, go to your bitmap under your creative select blur under your blur you'll see gaussian blur so if you're using this version come over to effects locate blur gaussian blur and click all right so you can actually use my settings if you wish all right let's go by six six point um, four pixels and click ok all right so scale this up this way all right so what we're going to do now is close this by clicking on finish and this is what we are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this background and scale it up this way all right 
we're going to scale it this background so as you can see it has um a watermark here so what we're going to do is i'm going to use my um, shape tool and drag this way remove this this way and um scale this up this way and place it here and the next thing we're going to do is use our um transparency tool on our tools bar please guys follow the step by step in this video so you can get it right all right so select your transparency tool and blend the background this way click and drag this way click and drag this way all right so if you want to get a perfect um shape all you need to do is hold your control and draw this way to give you a perfect line so what you're going to do is leave that to that and come over to your mage mode still on your transparency tool don't drop the tool guys come over to your um mage mode and select overlay all right select overlay and um right click on it and select power clip then place it inside so the next thing we're going to do is right click again and um select a this power clip this way now what you're going to do is bring in your rectangle tool and draw this way draw this way so once you draw this way give it a blue color all right then come over to this um this color this few um point here double click on it i don't know what to call it guys but that's what i call it though come to your color viewer and select all right then go to your um locate your um color mode we are using cnyk because this flyer or this poster will be printed so we will maintain our cnyk all right so i'm going to bring this to this point drag this point to this point all right so let's leave this to this and um click ok select your um transparency tools while selecting this just select um highlight your rectangle tool this background we have here then select your transparency tool go to your mage mode all right change to overlay change to overlay this is what you're going to have guys change to overlay so once you do that you can basically leave that to that drop the two then select this let's um let's adjust this background select this background and adjust it this way and this is what you're going to have so click on finish and this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to bring in this background we're still cooking the background guys so we'll bring in this background and place it over here all right so scale it up this way and um, use your tr transparency tool. All right, blend this, select and blend this way. All right, guys. So this is what you're going to have. So come out to your bitmap because we want to blend multiple um, sides. So we're going to bitmap once we um, blend. Convert to bitmap. All right. So guys, not because I said we'll be using um, CNYK as a color mode when you're printing your um, your your design. If you want to convert any image in color draw make sure you're converting with rgb all right not cnyk but your colors on cnyk all right so come over to your color mode select um rgb all right resolution leave it at 300 and click on ok then blend this part all right blend this way then select convert to bitmap then select and blend this way convert it to bitmap all right guys so you can basically take this up this way and um, select your transparency tool again and go to your blend mode then change this to overlay and this is what you're going to have guys change to overlay and the next thing you're going to do is right click and select power clip then place it inside the frame so this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing we're going to do guys is i'm going to bring in these images all right i'm going to bring in these images so we're going to arrange our images this way first of all i'm going to place this here all right let me remove let me reduce this this way so scale it up this way all right so once you do that bring in this one Alright, so I'm going to place this one like this, but in this case, I'm going to flip it using my mirror tool. Come over to your property bar. This is your mirror tool. Alright, so flip it this way to the right and scale it up this way. Alright, so 
we'll leave this to this this way and this is what we are going to have all right this is what we're going to have so next thing i'm going to bring um the next picture i'm going to bring is this one i'm going to place this here scale it up all right so once i'm done i'm going to use control page down to take it to the back all right this way so this is what you're going to have so i'm going to bring this one closer a bit and um the next one i'm going to bring is this one i'm going to scale it up this way take it to the back control page down take it to the back this way all right so i'm going to bring this over here make it closer a bit and um leave that to that don't worry about the edges we're going to fade that later so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in this image and scale it up this way take it to the back all right so scale it up make sure it's is fitting with the other ones all right so bring it closer a bit and the next thing you're gonna do is bring in this one and scale it up this way so take it to the back using control page down control plus page down control plus page down guys so this is what you are going to have so the next thing I'm gonna do is I want to select all of this all right I'm gonna select all of this and uh, make sure this one is aligned this way this one is not aligned so align it and scale it up this way so make sure this one too is aligned all right so we're gonna bring in we're gonna bring this one down a bit so so that is it guys so that is it so we're gonna delete our ruler all right to so bring in your ruler guys i've taught you guys just draw this way or draw this way that's your ruler all right guys so what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna select this one all right and blend it to the background blend it this way all right so select and blend this way using your transparency tool select click and drag this way all right click and drag this way all right so as you can see this one is affecting this one as you can see there's a white shade of there's a there's a white background here so bitmap this one convert to bitmap then fade out this way all right so same applicable to this same applicable to this one fade out this one this way so what we're going to do is i'm going to bitmap as you can see the 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 shirt is still affecting this one so you can do it this way fade it out this way all right guys so this is what you're going to have so what we're going to do is i'm going to bitmap it again all right so fade out this select this one and fade it out to the background all right guys so um come over to this and um, fade out this one so bitmap because we'll be fading out this edge this one all right so this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of this all right and convert it to bitmap all of it convert it to bitmap this way so we have this image all as one so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in my transparency tool again and blend this one so we're blending everything to the background as you can see it's blending well to the background so scale this up this way all right i think that's too much so scale it up this way and leave that to that so the next thing i'm going to do guys is i'm going to import all my text for this video if you made it to this point guys congratulations and um the next thing i'm going to do is bring in my text so go to your notepad and select all of this ctrl a to select ctrl c to copy then come over to this and select your text too then ctrl v to paste all right so i'm going to give it a white color so we can see and i'm going to place this just right there so what we're going to do now is i'm going to copy this cut it ctrl x to cut and paste it over here all right so i'm going to bring in this logo and place it over here all right so i'm going to reduce that just a little bit not that big but just a little all right so we're going to bring it over here and leave that to that let's scale it a little bit more and that's it so we're going to bring this over here all right i'm going to bring that over there and um, i'm going to select this give it bold and use this um deep yellow for it and um that is that is what we're going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do is 
I'm gonna cut this this way and um, leave that to that alright so I think there are text missing here so we're gonna do this add it up alright LGA so that is it guys so what we're gonna do is scale this down this way alright and leave that to that so this is what we're going to have guys so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this cut it out this way alright and place this over here so I'm going to put my cursor here and press enter on my keyboard and place it there then use ctrl A to select all then shift F3 to change case alright change to uppercase then you can bold it and give it the deep blue we have here alright so you can just scale this and leave this to this alright so this color is kind of dark but what we're going to do is use our light yellow instead of the deep one and leave that to that so the next thing I'm going to do guys is I'm going to bring this alright I'm going to bring this one cut it and paste it over here so what we're going to do is I'm going to break all this text apart I'm going to use my cursor and break all this apart alright this way and this way so what we're going to do is use ctrl k to break them apart and let's leave this one here and leave this one here leave this one here so I'm going to break this one ctrl k again and change the font Alright, so I'm going to change the font. The font I'm going, I'll be using for this one is called Sequa. Is this Sequa or Sequa? Alright, that's it, guys. So let's change the font. And we'll be using this black bold for it. So I'm going to scale this up. Change the font for this also. Alright, so I'm going to select this and change it to uppercase Shift F3 on your keyboard. Uppercase this way. Alright. So let's bring this and change this to uppercase also and scale this this way. All right. So I'm going to scale this one this way and let's scale it a bit. All right. So this way and um, we can delete this one and basically copy this and um, come. All right. So this is what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this is aligned to the center so select this one hold shift and select this then press letter c to make it um center alignment so you can bring this one over here all right and leave that to that so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to select this and, and group it ctrl g all right so let's place this one to the side first of all so i'm going to bring this crown which i downloaded from google Alright, I'm going to put the link of all this in the down description below for you guys. So what we're going to do is to extract this um this um crown from this background is go to your bitmap. First of all, convert it to bitmap. Alright. So go to your bitmap again and select mode, then black and white. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's done loading. So this is the um, before and this is the after. So what you're going to do is click on OK. Alright, so once you're done, you can remove this and delete the one you have before. And what we're going to do is bring this up here. Alright, and give it a white color. So once you're done giving it a white color, scale it up this way. Alright, just leave it to this point. And that is what we're going to have guys. So what we're going to do now is select all. Alright, so I'm going to duplicate this one. Let's leave this aside first of all. So we're going to give it a black color. Alright. Alright guys, so this is what we're going to have guys. So the next thing we're going to do is, I'm going to select this after giving it the black color. Alright, so what we're going to do is basically select this and select it again so that the anchor points will change. So select this one and drag it up this way. Alright, so once you drag it up this way, leave that to that and um, I think this is fine. So what we're going to do now is export it as PNG file. So go to your file and select export. Alright, so go to save as type and select PNG. Then locate where you want to save your file. So we can see, can save as um, text too. Alright, so click on OK 
and um, make sure this transparency is checked all right guys so click on ok so the next thing we're gonna do is come over to our stock images all right the stock file will have the folder so um what we're gonna do is launch this uh, mock-up file which we have there just make sure you have your photoshop launched so double click on it and wait for it to load all right guys so just wait for it to load and make sure your photoshop is opened and this is what you're going to have guys so coming over to this layer this is photoshop guys you can see where we have sparkle just uncheck it all right uncheck the background this way and this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this um first of all let's double click on this um thumbnail which you have here and as you can see it's written there add text here so double click on this um thumbnail so click on don't resolve or you can cancel it and what you're going to do now is um uncheck this and go to where we saved our file as you can see our file is on desktop we have text two here so drag it into photoshop and just place it here and this is what you're going to have guys so click on this all right then close this and click on yes and this is what you're going to have guys so what we're going to do now is i'm going to save this as png file go to your file and select save as type and um go to that and select let's select uh desktop that's where we're going to save this so let's um save it as 3d and what we're going to do is save as type as png as we did earlier in Corel draw then click on save and um click on ok all right so what we're going to do is we we'll go to our desktop select the 3d and um, come to your Corel draw and paste it so this is what you're going to have guys so we can actually delete this one and let's leave this one let's delete this one and leave this one here so what we're going to do is use our shape tool and drag this way then reduce this one you can basically reduce the size this way remove all of this just bring it closer to it then you can scale this down and place it over here all right so let's place this here and leave that to that so we can basically reduce this way and this is what we're going to have guys so what i'm going to do is select this image and take it up a little bit and take this one up this way so scale this and leave that to that all right guys so if you get it to this point guys this is it guys if you have any question don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section below so this is what we're going to have guys so let's place this one to the left this way and leave that to that so what we're going to do now is i'm going to copy this text all right i'm going to copy this text and paste it over here all right but first of all i'm going to bring in this team place it here all right so i'm going to change this to small letter the first letter to small letter all right so i'm going to use the font called the jacqueline for this all right i'm going to scale this this way so i'm going to rotate this this way all right so i'm going to give it this um deep yellow and leave that to that or we'll give it our normal yellow i think that's fine so we're going to leave that to that and um, the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to bring in my this text change the fonts to the normal font we have that's the sequel um large font we have there the bold one so what we're going to do is i'm going to change to uppercase using shift f3 all right shift f3 then click on ok then scale this down a bit and we're going to rotate this one just click on it double click on it this way one two and that is it you'll scale this up this way and place it over here all right so this is what we're going to have guys this is what we're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select my rectangle tool and draw a box here all right so once you're done drawing the box give it the deep yellow color we have let's reduce this a bit and leave that to that so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to copy this all right let's copy the dates cut it all right paste it here all right guys so let's do this let's copy let's cut the date this way paste it here let me remove this one and paste that here 
So I'm going to change the font to the normal Supra we have. As you can see, guys, we are making use of just um fewer fonts for this design. All right, guys. So I'm going to scale this and um add that is 20 29th to 31st of December. All right. So I'm going to leave this to this. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this. Let me duplicate it because I want to make use of same font. I'm going to duplicate this and write December. All right. 2021 and scale this down this way. Make sure it's fitted and is aligned together. So I'm going to bring this one up again. All right. If you don't know how to do this um, shortcut I'm doing, I don't want this video to be long. All you need to just copy and paste and just drag it up this way. All right. So right Wednesday. All right. So make sure you scale it down this way. All right, guys. So this is what you're going to have. So I'm going to delete this and um, delete this one. So this is what we're going to have, guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and bring this here. All right. So let's give this. This is 5 p.m. All right. So I'm going to bring this one down and um, give it um, daily. That's 5 p.m. daily. Scale this one down. Make sure it's fitted and is aligned. All right. So make sure it's aligned to this. And that's what you're going to have, guys. So let me select this one and um, reduce this. Make sure it's fitted to the middle. So that's what we're going to have, guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring in this date and put it here. Bring this time and place it here. So let's extract this from the background just as we did earlier. So reduce this one and all you need to do is bitmap it. Go to your mode and um, black and white. Then click on OK. Go to your trace bitmap and select outline trace, line arts, and leave that to load. All right. So select specify color so you can actually extract the one you want. So click on OK and um, remove this and delete this one. So what you're going to do is ungroup this and remove the white colors which we don't want and select and group it back. All right. Give it a white color. And place it over here and this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one bitmap it all right and go to your mode under your bitmap black and white and wait for it to load click on ok trace bitmap align trace and line out and wait for that to load so after it's done loading click on ok and remove this delete this one Alright, so what you're going to do is, I'm going to um, scale this down and place it here. Give it a white color. Alright, so this is what we're going to have, guys. So the next thing we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to bring this one. And let's place it here for now. Let's place this one for now. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this and place it here. Alright. Then bring this one, paste it here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to delete this one. We have the time there already. So I'm going to delete this, change the case to uppercase and click on OK. Then bring it and place it over here. Use um, shift page up to bring it to the forward and um, give it a black color. Make sure it's aligned to the middle. And then give it a bold. And what we're going to do is bring in this and place it over here. All right. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to extract this as we did earlier black and white. All right. Line out and wait for that to load. And boom, this is what you're going to have, guys. So, click on OK and delete this one. So, remove this. All right. And, um, Scale it down, leave it here, and give it a red color, and leave that to that. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring in this one. This is free food. All right. Let's take this up a bit so it can contain here. So change to 
uppercase all right bold it and leave that here make sure it's aligned to this all right make sure it's aligned as you can see it's aligned so what we're going to do is i'm going to bring this place it here all right so i'm going to leave that to that and um let's scale this down change to uppercase all right so reduce make sure it's same font this is 14 and um, change this to 14 bold it and change the alignment to um center alignment on your property bar all right so select this one and give it the deep yellow we have all right so leave that to the middle and we're good with that so the next thing we're going to do is I think we didn't copy everything. All right. So, okay, it's here. So let's cut this one and leave this to this and bring this one here. So, I'm going to place this one here. Change the alignment to the to right alignment. Make sure it's aligned to this this way. All right select and press letter r to take it to the right as the right alignment all right guys so i'm going to delete this and so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in the minister's name all right so we're going to write all the minister's name so what we're going to do now is write all the minister's name so i'm going to cut this reverend festus all right and place it here all right so change to uppercase maintain our font and um we're gonna take this one down all right change the font to let's say 12 and that's what we're gonna have so the next one we're gonna have is um reverend chibi k that is this all right so maintain the font change to 12 and change to uppercase all right so we're going to bring this one down and leave it here all right so this is what we're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is bring in the name the other name um that's our evangelist steven and um maintain our font uppercase all right maintain our font if you don't know how to change to uppercase i told you shift f3 right so let's bring this one down maintain this to 12 font all right so i'm gonna place this one here don't worry i'll take it up later so let's just maintain all of this first of all so the next name we have here is pastor udoka and what we're going to do is paste it here maintain the font and um 12 font which we have uppercase shift f3 change to uppercase all right so take this one here leave it here all right so the other name we have is god's power cut this one paste it here maintain the font maintain the font size and change to uppercase shift f3 bring this one here and place this one here and the last one we have is reverend harrison all right so place it here maintain the font maintain the font size 12 then change to uppercase all right shift f3 then change to uppercase then uh, we're going to take this one from here all right so i'm going to place this one here so what we're going to do now is i'm going to select all of this and press letter t on your keyboard to align it so i'm going to bring this one up this way all right so we're going to make sure it's aligned with all all of this and what we're going to do is i'm going to use my free hand tool 
all right and draw a line this way give it a white stroke right click on the white and select set outline color all right so increase with increase the weight all right come over to this point double click on it and select your weight to let's say 2.0 that's too small let's say 4.0 and we're good with that click on ok so we can du duplicate this bring another one here and bring another one here also bring another one here so this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do is let's bring our light flay all right scale it up this way first of all i want to remove all of this as you can see it has some particles here which i don't want so i'm going to use my transparency tool and blend this this way bitmap it rgb don't forget all right blend this way bitmap and blend this way all right bitmap and leave that to that so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to bring it over here as you can see it's behind field so what we're going to do is use shift page up to bring it to the forward and scale this up this way and once you do that um flip it this way sorry just drag it up this way so that it will align with the text just as we did earlier to the text so bring it over here and go to your transparency tool and go to your blend mode then change to screen as you can see it's aligned very 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 well so that is it guys so use your shape tool and make sure this is in the frame we're working with so this is what we're going to have guys so the last thing i want to teach you guys is this um listen carefully and watch this carefully so bring your ellipse to and draw this way first of all remove the white outline all right so once you do that select your transparency tool go to your property bar select your um fountain transparency then select your ell um, elliptical fountain transparency this is what you're going to have so change the blend mode to screen this way and drop the two first of all let's duplicate this we have two of this and what we're going to do is first of all let's give this yellow color reduce it and bring it over here all right if you don't understand you can play back guys play back and play gently you understand let's just leave that to that so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to select this and cut it ctrl x go into your frame right click and select edit power clip paste it here and give it this um cyan color then place this one here scale it up this way all right and leave that to that so close it and this is what you're going to have guys so as you can see guys this is basically how we designed this simple flyer slash poster in Corel draw if you have any question guys if you're confused in any way please don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section below and guys please um let me know where you're watching this video from in the comment section below see you guys in my next video and don't forget to subscribe